Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to do the Lewis structure for AlCl3 molecule. It is a chemical formula for aluminium chloride and to determine its Lewis structure we will first start with valence electrons. So here aluminium atom has 3 valence electrons, each chlorine atom has 7 valence electrons and I am going to multiply this number by 3 as there are 3 uh, chlorine atoms over here. So in total I have 21 plus 3, 24 valence electrons for aluminium chloride. Now we will place aluminium in the center because it is less electronegative than the chlorine atoms and the chlorine atoms will be arranged around the central atom like this. To show a bond between aluminium, to show a bond between aluminium and chlorine atom, I am going to place a pair of electrons and I am going to repeat it for all three chlorine atoms. Doing that we will use up 6 valence electrons out of 24 and now we are left with 18 valence electrons. If you look here closely you will see that each chlorine atom now has 2 valence electrons and to have a complete octet each atom needs 6 valence electrons for now. So as we have 18 valence electrons I am going to place 6 around each chlorine atom. So let's do that. Now you can see that each chlorine atom has a complete octet because there are 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. However, aluminium just has 6 valence electrons and doesn't have a complete octet. But that is fine because it, because it is an exception to the octet rule and it can have 6 valence electrons or can have less than 8 valence electrons for completing its outermost shell. So it, as it is an exception to the octet rule, it is fine if it doesn't have 8 valence electrons. To make sure you can also um, calculate the formal charges for aluminium and chlorine atoms for this Lewis structure. I'm going to leave the uh, I'm going to leave the link for formal charge calculator in the description box below. You can also use this formula to find out the formal charges, but the formal charges will come out to be zero, and hence this is the most accepted and relevant Lewis structure for AlCl3. I hope this video helps you to understand that for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.